Santa Clarita is so full of awesome events, uh, especially the annual events that come up every year. And for the last several years now, we've had the Cowboy Festival. It's coming to Old Town New Hall this weekend, Hart Park for the main events, but there are also peripheral events here in Old Town New Hall and from the city of Santa Clarita to talk about uh, this event from the Arts and Events Office, Mike Fleming. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? I am doing wonderful. Uh, this is an event that's been going for how many years now? This is our 23rd year doing this event and our second year in Old Town New Hall. Before that, of course, it was held at Melody Ranch every year. And uh, with being an Old Town New Hall, it really brings a lot of people down to the area, and especially with the revitalization that we've been doing for the past decade and a half or so, uh, for a lot of people who may not get down here that often. And believe it or not, now that we're down here, I get a lot of people even from town who go, you know, I don't get out here very often. This is a really nice area. It really does a lot to, pr- not to promote Old Town New Hall, which of course is our historic settling area, you know, prior to Valencia and everything else, right? Right. And last year there was a moment, uh, a salient moment on Saturday night. I came out of the Canyon Theater Guild down the street and uh, saw people walking along Main Street and uh, people exiting the and entering the restaurants. And it was just a wonderful sight to behold. And uh, so, yeah, that whole sense of community brought here. Uh, with the festival is a wonderful thing to watch. Now, for the uninitiated, what can people expect if they're coming to the Cowboy Festival for the first time? Well, if I were going to put it in a nutshell, I'd say if you uh, brought your family to uh, William S. Hart Park on Saturday and Sunday for the event, it's a general admission ticket. Um, expect kind of a renaissance fair with cowboy hats, for Uh lack of a better description. And they'll be staged with entertainment activities for adults and kids. There's living history. uh, There's food vendors. uh, Just really a wonderful thing. In a pastoral setting, of course, uh, big, large sycamore and oak trees there at Hart Park. If you haven't been there uh, and you're local, you should at least visit Hart Park. Exactly. Exactly, and get up and, and take a look at the buffalo or the bison, I should say, and uh, uh, everything else that's up there. Uh, is, uh, do you know if mansion tours are going to happen this weekend? Or? The mansion will be open all weekend. We'll have shuttles taking people up. Uh, they're up to the top of the hill both days. So, yeah, and Heritage Junction will be open as well. People can go in there. There's a performance stage and some vendors and activities going on. Now, Heritage Junction, and again, a lot of people who live here have been to Hart Park, but you'd be surprised, again, how many people have. And Heritage Junction, of course, has a lot of historic buildings. The train, the original train station is there as well, and it's a really cool opportunity to kind of get another little slice of Santa Clarita history. Now, originally this was known when it started out as a Cowboy Poetry Festival, and now just known as the Cowboy Festival. Is that just uh, mainly just to kind of, um, because we have expanded the the level of entertainment, or? Well, it, that actually took place, let's see, my first year was 2005, and the city decided to shorten it to, from Cowboy Poetry and Music Festival to Cowboy Festival. And for one thing, that saves you a lot of time on the phone, but, yeah. um, but exactly. actually, uh, we still have the poetry elements and the music elements as well. Uh, so I think it's just sort of encapsulating because, you know, not just in music and poetry, we also have film tours. We try to point out the whole film history in this valley. So it's just kind of an encapsulation of, of everything. Exactly. And we do have a rich history, and this is a good opportunity. Uh, whether you've lived here a long time or you're going every year and coming back, or this is the first time maybe you've moved out to Santa Clarita just recently and aren't really aware of our very rich history that we have here, uh, you might want to check out the Cowboy Festival. Again, Hart Park, right around the corner from us here. That is on Newhall Avenue, right where it meets the roundabout. And uh, parking would be in the surrounding areas. All well, over the we place. have parking at the uh, uh, shuttle site of 13th and San Fernando. Excuse me, it's a railroad now. Railroad now, yes. 13th Railroad. Part of our history, yes. <laughs> 13th of Railroad is free parking, free shuttle in and out. That's really the easiest way to go. Uh, and if you don't mind, I'd like to point out also that we have ticketed shows at yes, both of our means. theaters uh, down on Main Street, Canyon Theater Guild, and the Repertory East Playhouse as well. And all that information is on the website, cowboyfestival.org, and you can purchase tickets ahead of time for those ticketed events uh, uh, now by going to the website, correct? You may, and uh, general admission, you can also also purchase the day of. Yeah, so just show up to uh, Hart Park and get on in there, bring the whole family. Mike Fleming, City of Santa Clarita's Arts and Events Office, thank you so much for stopping by and talking about this event every year, and we are looking forward to it. It's going to be really exciting. Thank you. My pleasure.